Let's look at Chroma models, which are now supported by Forge UI. It's an 8.9 billion parameter model based on the Flux.1 Schnell model. A fully open source, Apache 2.0 licensed, which ensures that anyone can use, modify, and build on top of it. First, I will try the original model, and after that, the GGUF version of the model for low VRAM cards. Before we begin, go to the Forge UI folder and run this update file. I had a small update because I'd already updated this yesterday, but you may see more files being updated for Chroma models. After the update, run the program and select the UI as all. Next is the checkpoint where I have selected the Chroma file. In this notepad, I have links to all the necessary files. The above three are for the original Chroma model, and below are the files to run the GGUF models. I will open the first link and quickly show you the files. There are multiple versions of Chroma models released. Below you can find the latest model, which is four days old. Download the file and place it inside models, and then the stable diffusion folder. These are the three files I have downloaded. Below the GGUF file, I will show you in this video ahead. The model I had selected in Forge UI is this. Next is the text encoder file. You can download the file from this link. These are the two files which can be downloaded for text encoder. This is smaller in size, so I prefer this over the other. After download, keep the file in the model and then inside the text encoder folder. Next is the VAE. You can have the VAE released with the Chroma models. I am using the older VAE, which was released with Flux models. This is the VAE in the Chroma repository, which I think is faster compared to the one I am using. And this VAE is in the Flux repository. The reason I prefer this is because the image quality I get seems to be superior than using the other VAE. Keep it in the models and then in the VAE folder. After VAE, these settings are at default. Now, I need to look at this section. Sampling method, Euler works fine. And schedule type can be kept at simple. Or you can keep DDIM. You can try both and compare the difference. This could be subjective. I will get a prompt from Civit AI. I just want to show how it works, so I will take a random prompt from here. The positive prompt is there and the negative prompt needs to be added. I will copy the prompt and paste it. Also, I have used some common words for negative prompts. The width and height should be around 1024 pixels. It's almost done. I will be adjusting the CFG scale now. I was confused with this distilled CFG. I can keep it at one for now. I will click generate and then check the resource taken by the program. The iteration time is slow on my system. This is because the 17 gigabyte model is larger for my 16 gigabyte card. It took two minutes, five seconds to generate an image. The image looks okay. I was expecting more details. Actually, I forgot to change the number of steps. I will keep it around 30 and 40. I will use the seed ID to generate the same image again and click Generate. The RAM usage goes to 98% sometimes. I need a 64 gigabyte system. After three minutes and 30 seconds, I got the image. It has more details. Comparing the image side by side shows the difference. The image is good, but it can be even better. I increased the distilled CFG and generate it again. I use the same seed ID but increase the CFG because I asked for a thick character. And now it worked. I suggest keeping CFG around 5. The skin looks good and there is no W-shaped chin as we get from Flux models. The image looks better than the Flux base model. I tried again and this image looks better than before. The shine on the metal looks so realistic. I generated an image with distilled CFG value 3.5 and another with distilled CFG value 1. The result showed no difference. 
So I am sure the distill value does not affect the result. I came across this image by this user on Civit AI, and the image looks too good. I used the prompt to see what Chroma created out of it, and the result was amazing. What do you think? Let's look at Chroma GGUF models. I will share the link in the description. And these are the GGUF models. There are only two of them. This should work on a six gigabyte card, and this should work on an eight gigabyte card, but generating time will be slow because the computer RAM will be utilized. Let me know if it works or you get an out of memory error. Save it inside models, then in the stable diffusion folder. I will select the Q4 model, and then the next file required is the text encoder. I took the Q4 and Q8 text encoder from here. The link will be shared in the description. In the Forge UI, I selected the Q4 text encoder. Next is the VAE file. There is also the detail calibrated GGUF model I remember just now. It works similarly. The difference is minor, so I have not included this model in this video. You could try any of this GGUF model. It's up to your preference. I will leave the link in the description in case you want to experiment. You can get the VAE, which was released with Chroma models from here. I am using the VAE from the Flux repository. I think the results are better if compared with the VAE from the Chroma repository. So I kept everything as it is and click generate to check the difference in the results. The RAM usage came down completely and all the files are being managed in the VRAM now. I got the image and it took around two minutes and 30 seconds to generate this result. The image looks okay but I'm sure the image can get better. You need to play around with the samplers and scheduler. I changed the sampler as I prefer Euler because it works most of the image and try generating it again. The image is generated and it is amazing to see such a result from a model, which is smaller than six gigabyte in size. This is quite promising because it is an uncensored model. I changed the model and tried the Q8 model. The text encoder needed to be changed as well. I kept everything as it is to find out how much the gap is between the Q4 and Q8 model. This model size is around 10 gigabytes, so in my case, the system RAM usage is low. After two minutes and 30 seconds, I got the result. The image generated is definitely above the Q4 model. Which is the better result? You can let me know in the comments. It is good to know that smaller models can generate such a result without any LoRa. Adding text in the image works with a model, but you have to describe it properly. Describing the text can be a bit of a challenge, but you can always refer to Civit AI's image and their prompts. After a few attempts, I got the text I wanted. I will share this image later and link it into the description so you guys can have an idea on how to prompt for text. Let me know if the video was helpful.